So when it comes down to it, f equals ma is actually a differential equation in terms of the velocity. Okay, so, and the reason why that is, is because the acceleration is equal to dv by dt. Okay, the change in velocity over time. So actually you can treat f equals ma, Newton's second law, as a differential equation. So let's say we've got this particle that um, it's travelling uh, to the right, okay, at a speed of v meters per second. Um, it's got a mass of two kilos, and there is a singular force working against it, a resistive force, um, which is proportional to its velocity. So its resistive force is changing depending on how fast the particle is travelling. And that is actually something that is quite common as a mechanics situation. So it makes sense then that we could, rather than having like a constant resistive force, the resistance force is changing depending on the velocity of the particle. Okay? So we're going to take to the right as positive. We're going to, if we resolve it that way, okay, resolving to the right, then what I've got is I don't have any forces working in that direction, but I do have the minus 0.3v working to the left. So this is my net force. And that's got to be equal to the mass 2 times the acceleration, which I'm going to write as dv by dt. OK? So if I divide both sides now by 2, I get that, uh, well, I'll rewrite it this way. So dv by dt is minus 0.15v. OK? So here is my differential equation. Now, in order to solve that differential equation, we're going to have to use separation of variables. So if you haven't met uh, second year differential equation separation of variables yet, then you need to go and have a look at that next. OK? Otherwise, let's keep going. Um, so all I can do is divide both sides by v, multiply both sides by the dt, and then we can integrate both sides. So that means that uh, we're going to have log of v is equal to minus 0.15t plus some constant c. And then I could rearrange it to get v equals. So the velocity is equal to e to the power of that. So that's e to the minus 0.15t times e to the c, which you can rewrite as a e the minus 0.15t. So that would be your general equation, and then you could substitute in any initial conditions to find A. Okay? So this is how a forces mechanics problem can turn into a differential equation problem.